I'm Fred Ogola. I'm an expert in predictive analysis. Today, I want to talk to you about why testing healthcare workers is a national security risk. First of all, let's, let's, let's talk from facts because we are told that everybody has the right to their own opinion but not to their own facts. Facts are facts. Okay, first. According to WHO, it's recommended that there should be one physician to 1,000 population. Now, in Kenya, we are doing one, one physician or doctor to 17,000 people. What's the population of Kenya? Population of Kenya is roughly 50 million. That means that we have 2,900 and 41 doctors in the country. So, we have had situations whereby US, uh, UK, people are being told that we need to test healthcare workers to know their COVID-19 status, whether they are positive or negative. The same thing has happened in Kenya and so many other countries are saying they want to test health, 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 their healthcare uh, workers. Let me tell you what, they will not. And in fact, they cannot. And I have to explain to you in numbers why they cannot. Mathematically, they cannot. Why? It's because let's assume that these healthcare workers who are treating these patients are co having contacts with 20 other doctors per day. Let's talk about Kenya, for example. Which means that after talking to a friend, doctor told me that on average, he interacts with 90 doctors in a week. Which means that within 14 days, one doctor has interacted with 120 other doctors in two weeks. So in two weeks, if you take uh, 2,940, you divide by 120, you will discover that nearly in a span of a month, all doctors have interacted or had contacts with each other, which means that all doctors will be infected. And that's why there is no healthcare system in Kenya, uh, in Africa, in Europe, in UK, in the US that can test their healthcare workers. They cannot. They are not. They actually, whatever they're doing, they're just doing PR. They are not allowed to test it because this will crumble the economy. In fact, if one doctor tests negative, you'll find this will have a ripple effect. Let's say, for example, you work in Kenata National Hospital, floor number eight. Immediately you, you get a positive a results, it will force you to go into quarantine. So everybody on that floor also will go into quarantine, which means in the end, we'll have all healthcare workers under quarantine. People will die, and you'll be a national security. Policemen will die, military will die, VIPs will die. So take my word for it. Testing healthcare workers is a national security risk. The only people can be tested the only healthcare workers who can be tested are those attending to VIPs like the president, former prime minister, and many other people. But any other person, I'm sorry, this won't happen, and it can't happen. So what we need to do as a country, we have been told that COVID has this things whereby there are some people with high risk factors. So those people with high risk factors, let us put them in the back office. But those with low risk factors, irrespective of whether they are positive or negative, let them be put on the front line to help people to help save life. Because riskier to think about their status than actually to think about the risk that brings. We are being told what you don't know won't kill you, right? So let's focus on salvaging that part and let's not waste time on testing these people because results will bring a serious national security risk. Thank you.